Okay, we are still working on loops. So in this program, we are going to work on a simple uh, sentinel control while loop using strings. So what we do here is we have a constant string password called password is set to secret. We ask the user to enter a secret password and we read it into a variable called line. So that's a string variable. And we check while line not equal to password. That means the value that they enter, if it is not equal to password, then, which is our secret, which is our string called secret, then we go in and tell them it's incorrect. Please try again. And we read it one more time. That statement is very important. Because without that statement, line does not change. It remains at whatever they had before. And we are going to go off into an infinite loop. So make sure you have some kind of a statement that changes the variable that you're checking, the variable in your expression that you're checking. So once we get the right password, then it does not go into the loop, but it comes out here to this statement and it says correct. So in this case, notice the while loop is an infinite number of attempts for the user. So if the user enters it wrong, he or she can keep entering it until they get it right. That's the only way to end this program. Otherwise, it just sits in the loop until the program um, until you know the user enters the right value. So let's take a look at that. So if you enter a wrong password, it says please try again, and you can keep doing that for as long as you do that. It's always going to be in that loop until you enter the right password. Now here's what happens if you forget to use this get or put this get line statement in your while loop. So I forgot to put the get line statement, but I have a loop and it says incorrect in that loop. Now, if you try it, notice what happens. I enter the wrong password and it goes off into this infinite loop because there is no statement to update that line variable. So if I entered garbage in line, it was still there after the statement. What is there to change it? There's nothing to change it. So this statement says read it again from the user. So you must have some kind of an update statement that will change the status so it can check again and come out of the loop. So now if I enter a secret, it's never going to go into that loop. It's going to be um, fine. So let's try another program. The key here is that it's an infinite number of attempts is what that while loop has. I'm going to exclude that program and I'm going to include a different one where we limit a couple of things, the number of attempts to the user is limited. So this time we give them only three attempts. To do that, we have a failures variable. We have an int variable called failures that we initialize to one. And again, most of the other parts of the program are the same. We ask the user to enter the secret password, read it into a variable called line. But notice now we have three different checks. We check to see if failures has reached three attempts. We also check to see if line is, that is if the password is not what the user, what we wanted. And if the user wants to quit, they can, they can enter Q to quit. So we check three conditions using the logical operator. If all three are false or all three are true, I should say, then we come in here. If failures is less than three and if line is not equal to password and the line not equal to Q. So one and one and one. If all of those are true, then we come in here, increment failures to the next step, tell the user to enter line again, and then we go back. So if the user says, well, I'm tired of trying the password, even though I haven't reached three attempts and I hit Q to quit and I'm going to come out here. Once I come out of the while loop, I must decide or I must, I must figure out which one of these three uh, conditions did I fail in? We want to know that until we do some tests. So we check to see if line is equal to password. That means if they enter the correct password, then we output a message that says correct. If they entered Q to quit, then we output another appropriate message that says goodbye. Else, if that's not the case, that means they exceeded the three attempts and we're going to say you exceeded three attempts. So let's try that. Build it and run it. And I'm going to say something like that. It says, nope, that's not it. Try again. Try again. It says, nope, that's not right either. So secret, and it says correct. Now, let's try it one more time. And well, I don't want to try it at all. I can say Q, and it says goodbye. Q to quit. Or I can 
put in the wrong password three times and it says you exceeded three attempts. So test some of these things, change this program and see if you can break it. The best way to learn is to change these kind of programs and see what the changes do and how they affect the output.